What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It is Tank Obear, Colbert Tech Repair, where you get everything tech, news, gaming, and nerd related. And today, I have another StarCraft II replay. Today, it is me, Tan Colbert of Clan Genus, versus Bok Choi of Clan Bulge. This is a ZVP. And I believe I win this game, but I am not completely sure. Um, so. In ZVP, usually what I do is I go um, hatch first to try to block any potential um, cannon rushes, and then I usually go gas pull. But we'll see what I do here. Speed this up just a little bit. Go up, get my nine overlord, just like usual. Two drones. Third drone at 14. I believe I throw down my hatch at 15. 15 supply, throw down my hatchery. At 14 supply I start my gas to get metabolic boost ready. And then I should be throwing down a spawning pool right now along with two more drones. My opponent is going for a gateway I believe into an expand here. Um, now he throws down his cyber cybernetics core, so he's going to try to do a little bit of rush. Let's probe here. Come in and see what's going on. I chase him down. You always want to follow the probe because you do not want him to can rush you without you knowing. I start four zerglings, double queen. He starts warp gate along with one one more gateway. So he is going up to two gates, along with researching warp gate. He has two zealots, no expansion. I have my expansion up with two drones mining. You can see he is ahead one probe, two probes, but I am ahead in army supply at this point, so if he does try to run in here, I can defend any potential zealot attacks. I start eight more zerglings, my metabolic boost, along with two more queens, and three more drones for my natural. He starts up a robo facility for an observer, most likely. And then he goes into gateway and stalkers. I start my layer around the six minute mark. Uh, you want to get your layer around the six to seven minute mark if you don't spot a, spot a stargate to be able to get uh, overseers for potential DT play, um, along with being able to get hydralisk or swarm host out as soon as possible. So right now, I am now ahead in worker supply, 27 to 25. Army supply is equal. I have my two queens out here spreading creep. I am on two base. He is just trying to one base all in right here. That's what it looks like. It's two robos, so he's going for an immortal, sentry, zealot, stalker, all in off one base. Um, I throw down a war roach roar along with two spore crawlers in order to fend off any oracle harassment or potential DTs. I start an overseer right over here so I can fly over and see exactly what's going on in his base. Spreading my creep, spreading my creep. I got my two evos down to start plus one plus one along with an infestation pit. I see alright he has three gates, a cyber connect score and two robos. He's going for a sentry immortal all in. So I keep spreading my creep. I should have started my third by now, but I guess I just got distracted. Um, I do have my my natural saturated along with my main. I started the locust upgrade and plus one attack and plus one armor for my locust, along with starting five swarm hosts. You can see an army supply. He is ahead right now, but I am ahead in workers. And I throw down my third now while he is just now getting up his natural. He comes over with an observer. And I believe he spots my swarm host just as he comes in. Yep, he spots my swarm host. So now he's like, well, shit. What am I going to do now? He knows he has to move out soon. Because if not, he's going to be stuck losing a bunch of units. So he pulls back because he knows the swarm hosts are in. I start five more swarm hosts, plus one, plus one, is about to finish along with my third. 
he starts his forge. Plus one, plus one is finishing here fairly shortly. Start five more storm hosts. So take me up to a total of five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve storm hosts. My locusts are starting to get in here now, starting to do a little bit of work. He starts two stargates. I believe he starts these for void raid production. Um, I start another queen for my third. This is preventing him from expanding to a third. You can see how many minerals he's floating. I'm floating a lot as well, but I'm getting free kills out of this. So he goes down here to throw down a ninja nexus that I do not notice. But I am ahead in workers and army right now. Start four more swarm hosts. He picks up two void rays. Now as soon as I notice he goes void rays, I believe I throw down a spire. I haven't yet, but my plus two plus two is starting. Four more swarm hosts on the way, so I have four, eight, twelve, sixteen swarm hosts on the field. These four are not buried yet for some reason. And he starts throwing up force fields, and yes, I do throw down my spire because I sense that void rays are incoming. So he has three void rays on the field to my sixteen swarm hosts. I'm just getting some free stalker kills here. He brings in his void rays. I see this, I'm like, oh shit, I need to move. I need to move. I need to move. I move back. I try to fend him off as long as I can before my mutilists come in. And run in with a bunch of wings. Just try to do a little bit of harassment here. Take down some stalkers. He comes in with a mothership core. And I start nine mutalists. Mutalists are a good counter to void rays. I get a complete surround on all of his ground forces here. And my mutas get right on top of his void rays. Everything is completely gone. Units lost. 7,000 resources to 3,000. And that is the GG. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed. This is a easy way to defend a one base immortal sentry push going into a two base. Just get up to swarm host as fast as possible. Have early lings to fend off any zealot stalker harassment. Get your layer around the seven minute mark and you should be good to go. Alright guys, it's been Tango Bear, Colbert Tech Repair with a ZVP swarm host versus immortal stalker. Century all in. If you like to give it a like, if you didn't, feel free to give it a dislike. You can find me here on YouTube. You can find me on Twitter at Tinklebear92, and you can find me on Facebook at facebook.com/slash Colbert Tech Repair. See you guys next time.